Charles Russell English class, today I'm going to introduce you about sponge cities. Well, in China, sponge cities are being made to... Well, uh, what are sponge cities? Well, sponge cities is, well, trees in urban cities. And so these trees are on water. And these ones absorb excess water in urban cities to block flooding. Well, these weren't in the past. There were systems where water comes down into trees. So it was different from sponge cities. But right now, this technology is used in, well, sponge cities sometimes. And, well, other countries don't have the land to make these sponge cities, but China has has a lot of land to make these sponge cities. Well, because of climate change, yeah, absorbing excess water is very good to stop climate change. Yeah. But uh, when we think there were a lot of floods in China and sponge cities could not uh, block them and they did not block flooding in China. So these sponge cities is good, but flooding and climate change is, uh, well, uh, things are not the same and that is not to come from scientists so we don't know if climate change causes flooding and so well these sponge cities can help take out excess water but well these sponge cities do help but we need more other things to stop climate change Okay, so I introduced you about sponge cities, and next time we'll cover the different topic. Bye-bye, and see you next time.